Hey guys, joint manipulation for law enforcement. This comes from my Hapkido background. This is a shout out to you, Art. You've been asking a lot about this stuff. Now, just for time's sake, we'll do more videos in the future, but for right now, we'll just concentrate on the come along. Uh, you know, guy, you're gonna have to leave. You're being trespassed, and uh, you're doing the typical trespass. Now, the typical armbar takedown, the one that's inevitably gonna fail because I see it done wrong so many times. I'll do a quick demo, and but I love this position because it feeds into other joint manipulation. So, you're right here, you're not way out here, you're in tight. I like to say that you're putting his hand, your, his hand in your pocket, and I like to take this, rolling it, and then you're going to extend, like I'm pointing to the floor, like this is where I want you to go, and I'm just going to stop here and reset. You notice that I'm stepping out with the right foot, and it seems counterproductive. A lot of people do this wrong because they want to muscle it down, but he's athletic and stronger than me then, you know, he's going to, yeah, even if, even if he isn't, even if we're, you know, close in strength, if he doesn't want to go down, he's, he's not just going to stand there and resist. He's going to hurt me. So here, it's a quick roll. See how I just bumped him down? And then I step with the outside, not the inside, because if I step with the inside, the wrestler or grappler is going to just mess your day up. And you've just given him a Christmas present. So here, and I'll just take it all the way to the ground. Get on the ground, get on the ground, get on the ground. I, like here, I can do the reverse mount that I like so much, uh, which is very different from how we thought it in the future or in the past. But inevitably, I'm going to start here, and he's going to bench curl in like this. And I call this plan B. It's an entering throw in, in my system. But I'm here, he curls in. I pop up to the chin. It's not a strike. It's just a maneuver. And see how I'm kind of moving his head? And then this hand is going to go to the small of the back. So we'll do it from multiple angles. He curls in, boom, grab the wrist, get on your back, get on your, or on your stomach. We'll do that, are you okay? Yep. We'll do that from a couple different angles. Uh, from here, he curls in, boom. I just go with him, see close, here, and again, small of the back. On the ground, on the ground, see how I control him down? That's way you're not going to be smashing his head to the ground and sending him to the hospital. You're taking him to jail. You don't want to hurt him. Uh, another variation is instead of the hand on chin, I like it because I'm usually smaller than the other guy, you can do the Steven Seagal method where you're just using the arm and it's just this. Okay, so another variation from this is I love the Russian two-on-one. You can stay here or you can do traditional. But here I like to get that, sh that head in. Let's back up so they can see it on the video. And then I just bend over. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. And then I can put my knee on the back or small of the back where I like it. You know, giving them voice commands. Again, guys, be careful with your partners. Okay. And the Kimura. You can, you can come over like this. You can push it, like get away from me. And then you can just take him down like that. Let's do that one again over here so they can see it on video. Let me do one off for you. I'm here. This hand's going to show him away. I don't want you to see what I'm doing. I'm doing secret ninja stuff. Here. Down. Okay. Or, again, I'm just throwing a bunch of options at you. We'll do more refined stuff later. I can do the same thing, push away, slide to the wrist, take him down with the wrist lock. Now guys, he's going to resist it, it's going to break his wrist most likely in real life. Uh, you see in the movies where they're flipping through the air, they're doing that to prevent from getting their wrist broken. But here I'm keeping it low and dropping it low, I don't want to keep it high, keep him, give him his balance, and I just do this with the fingers. Giving him voice commands so he knows what to do. I'm going to show a twist lock, and again, all these videos will shoot off into individual videos in the future. Here, like this, I grab the arm like this, twist, and I've used this one a lot. I'm using the little finger. It's kind of like a, I call it the magic wand. I can move them around, I take them down this way. I use that one a lot. If you guys work with me, you've seen me use this on drunks a lot. Um, See, what am I missing? Oh, I just this is another variation of the entering takedown from here. 
and just like, hey, look at the beautiful mountains. And you just take them down like that. And then I can go into neon belly. These are all variations of takedowns. Guys, this is just a demo video, and then we'll do part two, part three, and break down the individual. Is there anything you want to throw in? Um, one thing that you'll see Kurt doing, and that you'll see in almost all high level or experienced joint locks, any type of grappling, is connection. Notice that when Kurt does a move, it's close to his body, it's in tight. Um, when he, for example, if he's going to do his plan B maneuver, that hand slides up close to my body up here. The farther you get away from me, the more, the higher chance you're going to lose it or slip it or miss, or just miss in general. If Kurt travels up my body when he does this, he's going to land at my head every time. If he just tries to punch, maybe he misses or maybe it slips. So it's counterintuitive because I don't necessarily want to get close to somebody. Um, but in grappling, the closer you have, the more contact you have, the better control you're going to have. So just keep that in mind when you're watching any of his demos. Look at how close he is, whether it's his elbows are sucked in tight to his body. Thank you for that. Yeah, uh, hands are sucked in tight in front of him. Everything's here. I'm strongest in this field right in front of me. Arms in tight, hands in front of me. So that's where Kurt does all of his work because that's where Kurt's most effective. I'm going to do one more variation, throw this off at the end, and I'm going to mm -hmm. demo the entry, and then I'm going to turn around so you can see what I'm doing here. And this is the one of the few where you're starting outside, like maybe he's pulling away, and so you give him his, you go with him, and as you go with him, I'm entering like this. Back up that way a little bit. Yeah. You're going to project me pretty far. And it's just get away, now you can go to your back belt. I'll do it from this angle so you can see what my knee is doing in the back. Okay, so I'm stepping like this, and I'm coming in at the same time, and I'm just taking him down. You might be able to grab the hand on the way down, don't count on it, and then you go knee on belly, uh, or actually, could you lay right here and move the camera? One variation that you see in traditional uh, setting of sorry, the police academy, they say grab the wrist and run over. I don't like that because if he's an experienced grappler, he's going to give him his knees and he's just start, oh shit, now he's back on his feet again. So, you play this way? I call this picture framing. This comes from Hapkido. I like to get that shoulder off the ground. I pinch the, uh, at the elbow. One side of the picture frame. One side of the picture frame. One side of the picture frame. It's very tight. It turns it into a shoulder lock. And I think that's it. Again, I'll show that in another video. This is a quick demo, throwing a bunch of stuff at you, and then we'll break into part one, part two, part three. All right, guys, send an email. Ask, I take requests.